This is not the way the tribes are gonna be divided. We're now gonna divide into tribes. If you are 40 and older, you're over here. If you are 30 and younger, you're over here. Damn, man, I'm one of the old football coach, baby. I'm young at heart. And oh, man, the older ones here, the younger ones there. I was looking forward to some of those young people carrying me. <laughs> I don't want any of the old people with me. <laughs> when the switch came, my first thought was, oh, damn. The antiques have the best coach you could ask for. They got a Super Bowl winning coach on their team. I mean, he's a great leader. That's what he's done his whole life. Yep, Survivor finally committed to it. The twist they teased back in season 12, but didn't commit to then, has returned, and this time, they're doing it for real. The younger tribe are all 30 and younger, whereas the older tribe are 41 and older. No one between the ages of 31 and 40 are on this season. This should go super well. Nothing can go wrong at all. One tribe definitely won't steamroll the other on this very physical game of Survivor. Jeff, the host of the show, then says, in the forest is the medallion of power. Go find it. Brenda of the younger tribe does find it. And as it turns out, this medallion gives an advantage in immunity challenges if used. Jeff then offers the younger tribe to give it to the older tribe for camp supplies. And they say, yes, I feel as if this medallion was designed specifically to give the older tribe a fair shot in challenges but we shall see if that is actually the truth, if it actually works like that. Upon arriving at the Espada camp, AKA the older tribe, we meet Jimmy Johnson. Yes, the Jimmy Johnson who has won Super Bowls as a coach. No, not the NASCAR driver who I know is also really good. Jimmy Johnson must be a very like stellar name to have. And people are mad that Jimmy Johnson, the Super Bowl winning coach is here. Jimmy T doesn't like that there's another Jimmy that people like more than him. We then meet Wendy who is a very awkward duck People try to talk to her to get to know her and she just kind of like bolts off as soon as she can. Like she doesn't want to be a part of the conversation. So she just leaves. It's weird. We even see her concerned about sand on Survivor. I think I got sand, all sand. I got the spray at the bottom. Yeah, don't put it, just swallow it and don't chew it there. You're good. We ain't getting no more today. With Wendy, I feel like I'm being reminded to wash my hands before I eat and you shouldn't be touching that. And there's, there's sand in there. Are you remember where we are? Wendy Joe? we're in Nicaragua. Clearly, this is as good as it gets. I think people think they know me, but really, they don't. Hey, Wendy Joe, where are you from? I'm from Fromberg, Montana now. And you like horses? I do. She's a little weird. Okay then, what about the younger tribe? Surely they're better off. Well, mostly. They seem to be all models, in my opinion. Kelly Bruno, though, has a prosthetic leg, and when she tells everyone about it, most people are like, wow, that's super cool. But then behind their back, they say, she is a threat, and she's got to go. Nayanka, in particular, says, if that one-legged Kelly Bruno thinks she can beat me in a race, then bring it on. Wow. Wow. But possibly the messiest of anyone on this younger LaFleur tribe is Fabio. As soon as we was all 30 and under, it was like, these are my people. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Blonde hair kid. The one that looks like Fabio. Dude, he's just retarded. You know, he's, he's a dumb blonde. I mean, I, you know, I never really called a guy a dumb blonde before, but he's a dumb blonde. The name Fabio, man. I didn't even realize I was being called that at first. Fabio like rides a white horse and does butter commercials and is kind of a cheese ball. It's whatever. Dude, I don't care what they told me. I'm gonna win for a million dollars. So I guess my nickname's Fabio. Timber! By the way, did you know that Patreon is free to sign up for? Yeah, that's the place where I give updates, post videos early, and have you all pick what I make now as a free option. Link in the description, you can cancel at any time, and there's a 15% discount if you do sign up for one year. Thank you for your support. But back to Jimmy Johnson, why is he here? He doesn't need the million dollars. So before the immunity challenge, he gives his tribe a pep talk and says, I am not here to win. I know the jury won't pick me. I already got money. I just want the adventure and I'm gonna coach you all to victory. Nice, by the way, he's being legit. So at the immunity challenge, LaFleur does this little dance coming in and Jeff nor the older tribe are impressed at all. But now it is time. How will the immunity challenge go? Now this type of challenge, we can compete with him. No, let's, let's make a statement. Let's make a statement and hold on to it. And so we keep it. it, we keep it. Yeah, yeah keep it. okay. All right, older tribe, what's it gonna be? You gonna use it or not? We're gonna keep it. All right, older tribe opting to keep the medallion of power. Younger tribe wins immunity! 
but why? They should have used that medallion. I don't care what the challenge looks like, you guys are at a disadvantage. So now it is time to vote someone off and people are like, obviously we have to ditch Wendy. She's so weird and she doesn't talk to us. So at Tribal Council, Wendy says, no one even tried talking to me. I don't feel like I connected very well with the people here. Um, I was very busy, but some people talked at the camp and I didn't feel like I got a lot of that because they would be quite surprised <laughs> if someone asked me some questions. There's nobody here that even knows my age. Not one person asked I me. I asked you. No, That's you didn't. one question I never ask anyone. No, you never asked me. I don't me. want to be asked that. I'm not supposed to ask a woman her age. How old are you? 48. You look so young. Uh, I think Wendy's crazy. We see multiple times people try and talk to her during the episode. She just like kind of scurries out of the conversation as soon as she can. So of course, she is voted off and the older tribe is down 9 to 10. Episode 2 sees Naoka throwing out random threats for no discernible reason. As she says, if Kelly B's leg comes off during a challenge, then she is gone. My goodness, Naoka just says these things unprovoked, by the way. She then loses her pair of socks and decides, I'm stealing Fabio's. Who moved my sock? Who took it out of my shoe? Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. I had socks in my shoes, one in each shoe. And now all of a sudden, oh, one's missing. One. Bitches. So I found another pair of socks that was just sitting there. And um, I took I can't find my spare pair of socks. Nay's wearing a dummy. Is she? Yeah. What you looking at me like that for? You ain't gotta have no attitude. I looked at you and you said, why you gotta Why look are you at raising me? your voice at me? I can get loud too. I was gonna ask her, hey, do you think that you accidentally took my sock? You just called me out in the middle. I sure did. I don't know what it is, but Judd, I don't like anything about him. I don't want people to think that I'm like a B-I-T-C-H, but the boy is stupid. Everybody thinks his jokes is funny. Yeah, we're laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm like, <laughs> I'm about to vote you off. Nayanka is a chaotic force. Now with the older tribe, we see a rivalry between the Hall of Fame Super Bowl winning coach Jimmy Johnson and some guy named Jimmy T. And by rivalry, I mean Jimmy Johnson is super nice to everyone and isn't mean at all. And Jimmy T is super jealous of this, but more on that later. Holly was left out of the Wendy vote and feels on the outs. So she takes their pot of snails and dumps it out and then takes Dan's shoes and... The New York City boy, Danny, he is like sand. So let's just fill his shoes up and then put them somewhere. Make sure they're tied. I've been too nice up to this point, but the game has just begun. My alligator shoes are missing. Are they expensive? 1600 What? For a pair of shoes? Yeah. Oh. I took your shoes out of your bag, filled them with sand, and I put them in the water. She stole my shoes. She stole my shoes. She stole them. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. If she were a guy, I would have knocked her right out. Holly keeps getting stranger and stranger. And every time she speaks, it becomes more evident that she's crazy. So yeah, I'm going to keep one eye on her and one eye on my shoes. I want to leave this game with honesty and integrity. The New York City boy, Danny, he is like sand. So let's just fill his shoes up and then put them somewhere. Make sure they're tied. I've been too nice up to this point, but the game has just begun. I can't trust them. I, I don't know how they can but she's not gonna get any forgiveness from me. It is episode two and this is already happening. The expected war this season was young versus old, but in my opinion, it's become many civil wars within each tribe. So much for the thematic twist. The older tribe then uses the medallion of power and wins. So on the younger LaFleur tribe, Shannon is the target and at tribal council, he can sense this. So he tries a move I would say is well beyond ill-advised. I'm the type of person when I am upset and somebody's betraying me like that, I'll speak my mind and that's what I'm doing. You're pretty much digging your own grave. Hey, I'm gonna get this out of the way right now, you get it? I'm sure I've had a lot more beautiful girlfriends than you have, buddy. You probably so, haven't, my brother, but good huh? luck. Yeah, huh? trust me, you haven't. I'm 100%. I know you haven't, trust huh? me. I like you to try and see work your magic in New York. New York's full of a bunch of gay people, yeah. So. New York is full of gay people. They got a lot of them, Jeff, more than they do in Louisiana. Be quiet, dude. We're on the same team for the next two, three weeks. Fabio, get your head out of the trees. This is a tribe completely divided, and if experience means anything, it's going to be tough sailing for you guys. Even in 2010, when this was filmed and aired, Shannon Dunn screwed up, and he is rightfully voted off. Benry says, we need to beat these old people so we don't go back to tribal. 
But do you remember Fabio and how much of a fun mess he was in episode one? Well, he's still a mess. I went and picked hot chili pepper because our breath was disgusting this morning and we needed something to get rid of it. Did you rub your eye? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Fabio is hilarious. He always gets himself in a sticky situation. He always gets himself hurt somehow. My whole strategy, bro, is to be out in the open and kind of make people laugh and be all crazy. But it goes deeper than just, oh, ha ha, let's keep him around because he's funny. It's like, hermit crab on my foot. <laughs> it's like, I want to be kept around for more than just because I'm funny. You know, I want to be kept around for my mentality, my spirit, whatever you want to call it. Can we even eat these? Careful, there's a beehive up there too. There's a beehive up here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, there's the ants. Fabio, he, he's so stupid. I can't stand him. I can't. And I knew the first time I laid eyes on him that I wasn't gonna like him. His hair got on my nerves. Like, such an airhead. You just knock on it, you'll just hear hollowness. At least Fabio is fun. On the older Espada tribe, Marty finds the hidden immunity idol and he tells everyone about it. But why? This can work out in the short term, maybe, but overall this is a terrible move. People are going to be scared you have the idol and are going to want to vote you off and will try time and time again to get you out of there. You're supposed to keep it a secret. Anyways, they lose immunity and Jimmy T is mad at Jimmy Johnson for not letting him do more during the challenge. But when Jimmy T was participating, he was actually less effective than Tyrone. Ugh. So let's check into the younger LaFleur tribe. Since they won the immunity challenge, they get a clue to their hidden immunity idol and Nayanka and Kelly B fight for it with Nayanka winning and her saying that if Kelly B wants to fight her again, she's going to rip that leg off. Wow. And then she initiates a fight with Kelly B that has her saying she better keep her leg away from the fire or else. What the heck, Nayanka? By the way, the older tribe votes off Jimmy Johnson because he's not good in challenges and they are now down seven to nine. Jimmy T says, I am glad he is gone because he was a chucklehead. Jimmy T is calling the Hall of Fame coach Jimmy Johnson, who was super nice to everyone at all times, a chucklehead. Okay then. Marty then says, hey, maybe Tyrone should be our new leader since Jimmy Johnson's gone. And Jimmy T is just like set off and he's so mad about this. And Marty says, I only suggested Tyrone just to screw with Jimmy T and it worked. Jimmy T then causes them to lose immunity and they vote him off. So now they're down six to nine. Thankfully, there is a tribe swap that favors the younger tribe, of course, across the board. And we see Tyrone try to be bossy on the new Espada tribe and Marty doing the same thing on the new LaFleur tribe. These older people are just being bossy when they're, they're down in numbers. The younger people are annoyed with them both, but then Fabio tells Marty about the Kelly B and Nyanka fight and... It doesn't seem to me like this tribe has had a lot of leadership. And frankly, at Espada, I got control of that entire tribe and not necessarily by being a leader but by being a player. Fabio just told me that somebody just pushed somebody aside, ran off with a clue to the idol and you guys let that fly. Come on guys. I want to get off on the right foot with you guys. I have an immunity idol. I think Marty is so arrogant. He just whipped out the immunity idol. You know, okay, no BS. I have the idol. And we're sitting there like Wow, so impressed. But in our heads we're like, are you stupid? He's coming into our home and he's already setting up like he's the king. He has a lot of balls. That is the dumbest thing he could have done. Hello? Why? Why did he reveal the idol to them too? Am I taking crazy pills? You're not supposed to do that. The newest Spotted Tribe loses and votes off Tyrone. So now the older people are down five to nine. And Jeff says, hey, we're going to have a double tribal, aka both tribes are going to tribal council no matter what. Fun. The older Spotted Tribe votes off Eve. So the older people are now down four to nine. But meanwhile, Marty on the LaFleur Tribe knows his neck is on the line. So he attempts some 40 chess. Dude, I have not told anybody this. I am a grandmaster. Chess. And have you ever heard of Guillermo Vila before? Have you ever no, heard of that? all I've heard of is Bobby Fischer. Okay, well, Guillermo Vila is an Argentine grandmaster. When I was a kid, I beat him twice. <laughs> Actually, I'm not a grandmaster in chess. And the Argentine grandmaster of all time, Guillermo Vilas. He's one of the greatest tennis players of all time, but clearly has nothing to do with chess. So I could pull anything out of the 70s on these guys and they wouldn't know what's going on. 
Definitely. Marty said, I am a grandmaster in chess. And I'm just thinking, duh, like it makes sense. It does make sense, man. He's always talking about it's a numbers game and you can see him doing all these numbers in his head. And I'm like, sign me up. It sounds like a good deal, you know? Will that make a difference on whether he gets voted off or not? Probably not. But was it funny? Oh, yes. Anyways, the LaFleur tribe plans on splitting their votes between Marty and Kelly B. Now, if Marty plays his idol, he's safe, but if he doesn't play it, the plan is to re-vote and get rid of him. So at tribal council, they all go to vote and... If anybody has a hidden immunity idol and you want to play it, now would be the time to do so. Once the votes are read, the decision is final. The person voted out will be asked to leave the tribal council area immediately. I'll read the votes. First vote, Marty. 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 Three votes, Marty. Brenda. Brenda. Two votes, Brenda. Kelly B. Kelly B. We have a tie. Marty has three votes. Kelly B has three votes. Here's what's going to happen. Marty, Kelly B, you will not vote. Everybody else will vote, and you're voting for Marty or Kelly B. First vote. Marty. Kelly B. Kelly B. Two votes, Kelly B. Kelly B. That's three votes, Kelly B. One vote, Marty. Sixth person voted out of Survivor Nicaragua. Kelly B. Kelly B. Tribe has spoken. Kelly B. went out over Marty. He didn't even play his idol. What the heck? This makes no sense. If Nayanka was here, though, she would be super happy. The older people are down four to eight, and Marty is so confused as to how he's safe. I'm confused too, dude. I am so confused. Meanwhile, at the challenge, Fabio's being Fabio. Fabio, back in the water. Almost roll P real quick. Are you really? Fabio, what are you doing right now? He's in the restroom. Aww. In the pool. The water's so dirty anyways, look at it. I mean, does everybody pee in the pool? I don't know, is everybody pee in the pool? No. no. Oh. I gotta concentrate, okay? You can't concentrate when you gotta pee. Easily Fabio's most villainous moment of the whole season. LaFleur loses immunity and once again they're like, oh no, how are we going to get rid of Marty? I guess we have to split our votes again. Y yeah, but if you just voted him off last time when you could have, you wouldn't have to do this because he wouldn't have the idol. I'm utterly baffled by the stupidity of the younger players. But then Sash, of the younger people, tries a 40 chess move when... They'll split the vote. Three to two tonight. Three votes for you. Yeah. Two, two votes for Jill. The other option to strengthen us you hand the idol over and i look you in the eye man to man and shake your hand that you are not going home tonight right now i feel absolutely powerless in every way shape or form if i keep the idol i have to use the idol tonight so <laughs> i give sash the idol and maybe i go home tonight maybe i don't curse at times a good thing at times Immunity idol is yours. Well, it turns out I don't even have to dig for idols. All I have to do is ask for them. People will literally hand me an idol just because I may or may not keep them in the game a little longer. Marty made a big mistake. I am now even more baffled by the older players. He found an idol, tells both tribes he has it, it accidentally saves him the last tribal without him playing it, and he just gives it away. So at tribal council, Jill's voted off, not Marty. Don't ask me why. The older members are down three to eight, and now the title of this video is probably making more and more sense. Episode eight sees the merge, and Nayaka cooks up a meal for everyone. How kind of her to do that. She even eats the smallest tortilla, which is a humble act of her to do. But Nayanka is not humble, and she did not want the smallest tortilla. She wanted the largest one. So Nayanka decides, screw all of them. I'm taking the cooking supplies, the flour, etc., and I'm hiding it all, burying it in the ground. But of course, eventually people notice a bunch of our supplies are missing. What about the frying pan? Is that gone too? That doesn't just get swept away by the tide, you guys. Like, no, I think it's pretty obvious when we yeah. saw it. Nayanka, did you put the flour back in the chest after you? Everybody saw me put it in here. If you didn't put it, if you didn't sing me, you didn't sing me. I saw her take it and put it in her bag. And I put it back. And I said I put it back. Put it in your bag? And I put it back. Do you understand why everybody's And that's why I'm telling why you guys, Marty, bag? I didn't take it. 
Uncle Dan, I didn't take it. Fabio, I didn't take it. Sash, I didn't take it. I just want one thing. I'm after. done, Fabio. I already said what I said. I'm not gonna keep explaining. I just don't understand why it had to go in your bag first. You know like, how many times I just said what I did? Like, what do you want me to do? We're not asking you whether you put it. So I am not explaining. I lied to you guys. I'm just trying to play the game, but I did not do it in intentions to starve everyone. She's saying that she was doing it for the benefit of the tribe. Sorry, I'm not buying it. You don't have to buy it. But you could have just said, hey guys, I think we're eating way too much flour. Yeah. Let's chill out yeah, a little a, bit. There's a number of different ways that it's I could have went about it, but I went about it another way. Stealing uh, food, of all things, in Survivor. You would think that having done what she did would mean you're gone, like instantly gone. Wow. So of course at tribal council, Alina is voted off, not Nayanka. Obviously, we all saw that coming. Are you as confused as I am? It isn't like Nayanka goes in episode nine either. Marty's voted off next. Yeah, she stole food and she keeps being safe. Episode 10 sees the rain pouring. So they use their wooden chest of food to protect it. And yes, you may be wondering, why did they use the wooden chest filled with food to protect the fire? That's a good question. Well, the answer is it all burns up because they weren't thinking about it. And even the tarp is burnt as well. Oh man, it just keeps getting worse and worse. So at the reward challenge, Nayanka's group wins candy, hot dogs, and the chance to watch Gulliver's Travels before it comes out in theaters, AKA this movie paid big bucks to sponsor this episode. And so... Jeff, now, can I say yes. something? Um, I've given this game 110%. This last challenge, I gave every last bit of everything that I had and my body is just wearing down and it's tearing down and um, this will be my last day and I wanted to go out with a bang with my winning team. So you're quitting? Yes. You don't seem like a quitter. I'm not a quitter. I, I, I guess I could say ultimately this is my first time quitting, but you know, I got to listen to my body. 28 days, it's been 28 days of an adventure, but... You're quitting too. We're going to meet at Tribal Council tonight. And now after thinking about it, you still want to walk away on day 28 and give up a shot at a million bucks, then fine. I'm sure everybody else here would love it. You're this close to being able to say, I did it. And you're this close to being one of those others, the quitters that nobody remembers. Yes, you heard them correctly. Two people want to quit with 11 days left in the game. Jeff is mad and why wouldn't he be? The sponsor's not gonna like this. The fans won't like this. You probably don't like it. I know I don't. He then offers them all rice and a new tarp, hoping that of course that Purple Kelly and Nyanka will stay because now they got food and a tarp. Uh, and he says, all you have to do is have one person sit out of the reward challenge. Everyone looks at Nyanka since she's literally quitting in half a day anyways. And she goes, no, I'm staying. I earned those hot dogs. So Holly sits out. So that night, Nyanka and Purple Kelly quit. Yeah, nothing deters them. They wanna go. At this point, there's no one left to root for but Fabio. Everyone else is either boring or a villain, or both. Fenry is voted off next with Sash, Chase, Holly, and Jane controlling this game and saying, Fabio is gone after Benry. So at the immunity challenge, with Fabio's life on the line. Fabio thinks he has it, and he does. Fabio wins immunity. When you need it, you get it. Fabio, congratulations. Amazing but it's unlikely Fabio can win till the end. Dan is voted off, and again, Fabio's life is on the line. And so at the immunity challenge, Fabio has it! Fabio wins immunity! Once again, Fabio has immunity. You will live to see the final four, one step closer to the final tribal council. I won again, <laughs> it was awesome, man. Going into it, I knew that if I didn't win, I was not safe but I got my necklace and I'm loving it, man. Wow. The alliance of Sash, Chase, Holly, and Jane have to turn on each other. Now Jane knows I'm next because when I ask my own people, they won't even talk to me. And in an act of revenge, dumps buckets of water on their campfire. So of course she's voted off, but now it's time. If Fabio can win this final immunity, he goes to final three and has a shot to win the million dollars. Believe it or not, the guy who peed in the pool. So, Sash drops his coins. Fabio wins final immunity and will go to the final three. You are going to final tribal. You will get a shot at the money, a chance to plead your case as to why you deserve the title of sole survivor and the million dollars. I'm loving this, man. I mean, I won the final immunity challenge and I get to come back to camp and watch the three of them 
try to plead their case with why I should take them to the final three. Of course, Sash and Chase and Holly are all nervous, panicky people anyways, so it's gonna be fun watching them sweat about this one, and I'm just gonna let it play out. Holy crap, Fabio with the upset. Holly, the last older person, is voted off. So now it is Chase versus Sash versus Fabio. Chase is as boring as watching grass grow in Arizona, and Sash is a straight villain that no one likes. So when Jeff reads the votes for who wins the million dollars. Fabio. <laughs> Chase. Fabio. That's two votes, Fabio. We are tied. Chase. Chase. Four votes, Chase. Two votes, Fabio. 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 The winner of Survivor, Nicaragua. Fabio. So what do you think about the old versus young twist of Survivor Nicaragua? Was there anything they could do to improve it? Comment below and let me know. Thank you for watching and doubly thanks for liking and subscribing. I'll see you all next time.